Alright guys, well, I did a little bit more tinkering and I wasn't happy with the uh, supplied 25 amp ESC which was only 2S rated and therefore an RC car so it has a reverse function which is definitely not needed in this case could just wreck the gears so instead I've opted for a rewire so as you can see here I've taken the terminals off uh, added silicon wire I am using an older Simon K 30 amp ESC for a multi rotor so this has a big heatsink on it. It also has a 5 volt BEC at 2 amp, which powers my radio. And I've just added an XT60 and melted a hole into the P90 to allow it to route through. Um, I've added this piece of foam because I've found that the rapid rates that this can reach, <laughs> this little latch here tends to let go of that fairly easily. But with that piece of foam there, it seems to help. So. So we're going to plug it in. There we are. It's giving us the beeps. Now here's my throttle. I'm going to ramp it up slowly. As you can see, the brushless motor at 5800 kV doesn't quite have the torque to have a good fast start. But once it gets going... And it all fits in the case. Just nicely. Now I've allowed... I've placed the hole in the P90 shell so that... This can be repurposed, so just got to pull that and attach it to a servo tester and then I can use the trigger. Or as remote, remote turret purposes, unplug it from the servo tester, plug it back to the radio and off we go. So I'll be uh, assembling this back together and uh, seeing if it fires gels at the higher rate without shattering them. And then we'll upgrade the spring. <laughs> 